demonstrators flocked the streets of Manila and Quezon City to commemorate the 50th year since the declaration of martial law. Mobile journalist Jacob Lazaro gives us a front seat to the story. Remember and serve justice. This is the message of some groups commemorating the 50th anniversary of the declaration of martial law in the country. Some member groups of Bagong Aliansang Makabayan marched in different areas of Manila and Quezon City. The group remembered the horrible events that transpired during martial law. Hindi ibig sabihin na kalukluk ang isang Marcos ay kinakalimutan na natin ang kasaysayan. Dapat lalo tayong pumipiglas. Over in UP De Laman, several floats meant to describe Ferdinand Marcos Sr. were on display. These include slugs, tombstones, and serpents. There was even one showing off Voltas 5. The anime series was aired but banned from TV during martial law, as it symbolized the unity of people against abuse. Martial law survivor Casatul Ocampo joined in the protest, saying that he still remembers the tortures he suffered back in the day. Bubugbugin, uh, dinamita ako ng electric shock, uh, sinunog yung ating nipples, yung ating uh, 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 sex organ, saka lahat ng uh, tunnels ko, ng uh, cigarette. Ang aking uh, pari, ano, tindig doon, hindi ko sila bibigyan ng pagkakataon no, na dehumanize ako. Based on the data from Amnesty International, more than 100,000 people were victims of martial law from 1971 to 1981. 70,000 were arrested, 34,000 were tortured, and 3,240 were killed by the police and the military. Others, however, say that it's time to move on because it's already been 50 years. But for the victims of martial law, May kasabihan nga tayo, those who forget the past are, are condemned to repeat it. Hanggat walang katarungan sa mga ginawang paglabag ng karapatang pantawo, ng pinaslang, ng dinukot, ng wala, pagpunimbat sa bayan, hindi po pwedeng move on. Mobile journalist Jacob Lazaro, we are One News.